Hey everyone, I'm back. It's Wendy Hutchinson with Alinea Life Coaching and The Path of Me. I know it's been a minute since I've put a video up. I was traveling for a few weeks. I was in Hawaii for my mother-in-law's 80th birthday and then California for a week for a wedding. So it's been, it's been a really interesting time for me. I totally unplugged. I thought, oh, I'm going to be in these great locales and shoot this all, all of these motivational videos and um, I just unplugged and ate great food and did nothing. I floated in the ocean and <laughs> pretty much just hung out for three weeks and I feel so refreshed. So a couple things came up for me while I was traveling though. And as, as they always do, I think when we give ourselves some space and time, um, so we can learn something about ourselves. And the two things that really came up prominently for me were presence and gratitude. Now, gratitude is something I practice every single day in my life. I'm just, I'm just in a mindset of gratitude. And there was a Harvard study, and I don't know what it was called, but they did a study of people who practiced gratitude for 21 days consistently and found that it shifted their mindset and their mood. And um, so it's something I wanna encourage all of you to do is to incorporate a daily gratitude practice into your life. It's really helped me in a lot of ways. Obviously, it's put me in a mindset of just thankfulness, of having an open heart, of just being so grateful everything I have in my life and what's interesting is gratitude has not only served me when I've been on these amazing vacations like I was just on but also it has really been powerful as a tool for me when I have been suffering a lot in my life I think we all go through or, or we can all relate to being in dark spaces in our lives because no one's life that I know of is 100% um, amazing without, you know, dips and turns and ups and downs. And um, what I found was in my deepest suffering, my deepest moments of suffering, when I could get myself into a space of gratitude, gratitude and suffering could not coexist for me in the same moment. So it was a really useful tool that I've always used when I'm in a deep place or dark place to heal my soul. So a couple of reflections that I have from my, my vacation, I was in Hawaii for two weeks in California, was I was able to really be present in my life. And presence is so hard when we're in our everyday life because we get caught up with bills and kids and errands and the house and walking the dog and feeding everybody and working. And it's, it's really a practice. It it's really takes discipline to be present in our everyday life. But what I found when I was in Hawaii and for the rest of my vacation was... I was completely present. I was completely present to every moment, to every person and individual that I connected to and saw and visited with and shared a meal with or a moment with, even if it was the cashier at the grocery store. Um, my heart was open and it was so beautiful to have all of these incredible interactions with old friends, new friends, strangers, and it was like, when I was in that space of receptivity and an open heart and I'm present to every moment and just open to whatever the universe had to gift me, it was like magic. It was like magic was happening for me every day, every moment. I couldn't believe it. Like, I don't even know how this happened, okay? I'm just sharing my experience. But it was like every moment felt like the universe was gifting me something so beautiful. So I'll just, I'll just mention a couple of things that kind of surprised me and in a beautiful way. 
One was the first day I got to this rental house that my husband and I rented in Manoa Valley in Hawaii. Um, across the street, Petty Corner, was this park. And there was a huge, gorgeous, gorgeous ancient tree. And it, it reminded me of the tree of life. And something just kept drawing my attention to this tree. I'd go out to the porch and I just, it was like just drawing me to this tree. So the first morning, I got up super early because, you know, I'm in Texas and there's a five-hour difference between Texas and Hawaii in the summer. My son and I, he's like, what do you want to do today, Mom? And I go, I want to go and swing on that swing set at that park under that magnificent tree. And he's like, that's exactly what I thought, which is funny because he's 26. And what 26-year-old wants to go swing on the swing with his mom? <laughs> so we walked over there. And it was a gorgeous day. And we were on these swings side by side under this magnificent tree. That was probably over 300 years old. I'm guessing, I don't know, I got the number 356. That's what popped into my head and his too. So I'm going to go with that. That was probably 356 years old. And um, we're just in the moment in this bliss. And I thought, God, this is day one. How can it get any better than this? And as we got off the swings to walk across back to our rental, I look in the sky and there's this magnificent double rainbow. I mean, insane double rainbow, which was just so gorgeous, you know? And I kept thinking to myself every day, how can it possibly get better than this? And it would, you know? I connected with a friend who lives in Sri Lanka, who I haven't seen in so long. Her husband um, works for Chevron over there. And we find out that she won a trip to Hawaii and she's literally 10 minutes away at this hotel from me. And so our, our schedule synced up and she said, come on down. I won this trip. She, um, she's a fabulous businesswoman and mom and inspirational entrepreneur. And I hadn't seen her in a while. So I got to go down to her incredible hotel. I think it was the Waikiki Surf Hotel or something. And sit in front of this in, insane infinity pool that was just, you know, literally dropping off into the ocean with view of Diamond Head. It was like the perfect day. And we got to spend three hours just catching up and talking about life and our journeys and, and, and just having such a beautiful, deep connection. And my trip just kept unfolding like that, just one beautiful moment after another. And when I think about it, it wasn't that I was anything special, you know, but I was in a place of receptivity and I was in a place of gratitude and love and my heart was completely open and my mind was completely open. It was like my field of energy was completely open to receive the magic that the universe had to offer. I'm going to share one more thing. There were so many details that I won't bore you with because who wants to hear about someone else's fabulous vacation, especially if you're in a tough time right now. You're like, yeah, yeah, uh, I have, you know, problems I need to deal with right now. I don't need to hear about your Hawaiian vacation, but I want to tell you about one other magical thing. Okay, too. <laughs> Anyways, a friend of mine, I stayed on the North Shore with a good friend of ours, and uh, she said, hey, let's go do yoga. They, they have this great, Morning yoga at Waimea Bay Rec Center. Waimea Bay is this incredible bay on the North Shore. And I uh, thought, how awesome would that be? It's in this outdoor pavilion. And so we went, and it was totally open. So it was just surrounded by tropical plants, tropical forest. And I'm laying on my mat thinking, how can it get any better than this? And there's a peacock in a tree right behind me that was so magnificent. And, um, and then when I came out of yoga after a beautiful morning practice, 
there's another tree that was probably 400 years old. I, I'm into trees. I don't know if you're into trees, but I'm super into trees. I don't know why. I just feel like they're ancient and wise and the energy of them are, is so beautiful. I love to connect to trees. I saw the most incredible monkey pot tree. I swear it was like over 400 years old and just dark it um, in Lionel Park. It's right by the entrance. So if you go, check it out. Um, so that was, that was magic. And then we were at Waimea Bay. Okay, this is my last story, I promise. We are at Waimea Bay, gorgeous day, it's floating in the water, it's insane, it's beautiful, it's not crowded, which is incredible for summer. My son's swimming, my friends are swimming. I'm not a good swimmer, I'm like a floater, I kind of, I'm like a bee, kind of bottom. But they're all swimming. I'm like, how can it be any better than this? Like, it's so magic right now. And then this huge, pod of spinner dolphins and their babies came into the bay and just were like jumping and spinning and my son and my husband's best friend swam out with their grand, his granddaughter and they got to swim with these dolphins and it was insane like just watching them jumping for like an hour and a half so my point is when you are present when you are in a space of receptivity when you ask the universe how can it get any better than this? And you are holding that vibration of love and an open heart, and you're just open to receiving what the universe has to give you. It will give you something incredibly powerful and unbelievably magic. So that was one thing I wanted to share. Keep an open heart. Try to be present in your everyday life. Ask the universe, how can it get any better than this? Because it will. And it's so amazing to me how that happened over and over and over on my trip. And also, practice gratitude. Because gratitude, I say it's the elixir to suffering. It's the elixir of life. When you're in a state of gratitude, suffering cannot coexist. So... That's my two cents for today. I have an awesome guest coming up and probably the next day or so I'm going to post the video. Her name is Vanessa Iberetta. She is an incredible friend of mine. She's a myofascial release practitioner, a Marconics energy practitioner. She does body movement. Um, she's a spiritual and transformational mentor. And so I hope you'll tune in. I'm going to probably post that video within the next day or two. But uh, we were talking in our, next, in our next interview together about how to release things that no longer serve you. And we've both been pressed to really look at the things in our lives, the programs, the fears, all of the things going on in our lives that... Um, aren't in alignment with our souls. And so we're going to talk a little bit about how we've moved through that and found balance in our lives and let go of things that have no longer served us. So I hope you'll tune in. I hope you'll subscribe, like, and share to my channel. I, just, I appreciate all of you who take a moment to watch my videos. Thank you so much for being here. And um, I guess that's about it. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are in the world. I love y'all. I'll talk to you later.